Hmm. Someone's feeling chained to a situation. Maybe someone is, uh, someone's cha feeling chained, um, to you about a situation. What I mean is, um, um, tied to the hip where they feel like they can't get free of something. Some of you may be obsessing over something. Some people may be overindulging. Maybe the people around you are this way. Okay. So the hand, the moon, mm, something comes out with the moon. Maybe that's why you're, you're obsessing or upset or feel tied to a situation, you know, chained down. What's crossing it? The chariot moving forward. So for like the next 10 days, um, you'll have trouble moving forward. This will be, you'll be kind of stuck in your head or people around you, but it'll be around 10 days. They'll, you know, it'll take effect, you know, for that long. What's crowning you? Or the goal is the fool card. You're wanting to take a leap of faith, start something new. Um, you know, jumping into something. The foundation is the three of cups in reverse. Maybe someone is overindulging, maybe in the spirits, you know, um, um, drink, you know, uh, celebrating too much. Uh, maybe they're wanting to have abundance in their life and you feel like it's not there. I'm going to clarify these cards. You know what I do. It changes the story up. So, you know, stick with me. And I'll be giving you a mini love reading at the end, too. Past position. Some of you may be waiting on messages with the princess of this. Sort of like a page. You know, well, it is a page um, in other decks. But it's also like messages coming in of stability in the past you're waiting on. Maybe you yourself um, were dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or some of you may be actually very practical, you know, got a good head on your shoulders. Near future, you got wish fulfillment coming in and something. After this, after this like situation where you feel like it's not going forward for the next like, ten, you know, seven to ten days, I always say, um, happiness will come in after that. Okay. Uh, wish fulfillment. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. This is the Emperor in reverse. Be, care be careful of controlling situations. And I'll clarify that. What is coming towards you, the outside environment, which is causing all this. A little misfortune, a little bad luck, you know, at first. At first, okay? So don't get upset. Your hopes and fears, you want to come out of feeling worried and not having enough. In the end, you're going to be dealing with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can be an air sign. The Queen of Swords may not be feeling well. They may be irritated. All kind of things. I'll have to clarify. But you're going to be dealing with this person. You're getting much fulfillment. But you're still going to be dealing with um, the situation with this person. You know. Uh, let me go back to the beginning. Because something comes out with the moon. We just had a full moon. You know. Or it is pretty much still. You know. The energy is still there. About three days after a full moon. The energy is there. But. What's crossing is a chariot. So if something comes out and something got halted because of it in your life or around you. So I need two cards for the moon in reverse and the chariot that's crossing it. Two cards, please. Yes, yeah, so you put an end to something because of that. Something came to a halt. Um, you wanted to release yourself from a burden. Okay, that's the ten of wands there. What's crowning you with a goal, like I said, is the fool taking a leap of faith. I need two cards for Pisces. Two cards, please. For lovers, taking a leap of faith on a lover situation. But something came out with the moon. Okay, I'm using two different decks. I used two different decks. I used the larger deck and the smaller deck. So we can, I don't get them mixed up when I put them away. But it's like, you want to take a leap of faith with a lover situation, but you may have heard something about them. You may be fearful of things coming out. Maybe you don't trust it. You know, the moon in reverse. Maybe you're th thinking something's going to mess up, you know. You're going to think, oh, um, if I put my trust in this person, we'll just mess up as always, you know. It could also be partnerships. It doesn't have to be a lover situation. So don't get me wrong. It'd be different for all Pisces individuals. But you are you are thinking about taking this leap of faith with somebody or a situation. But you're, like I said, you're not trusting in it. You're afraid it'll be, you'll just be messed over, you know. Hmm, moving on from Troubled Waters. I was looking at this card, so I'm going to use it. Three of Cups, and I got the Six of Swords. So it's about maybe you're waiting for abundance to come in. For some of you, someone may be overindulging, and someone's trying to move on from a troubling situation. 
So I need another card for the abundance in reverse and the Six of Swords. So it looks like you are moving on from a situation that was pretty negative, and you're making a conscious decision to do so with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about staying, either staying where you're at or moving forward with something that you're passionate about. And that's, that's what I believe you're going to be doing because I do see you getting wish fulfillment. But you're still going to be dealing with people or situations that are a little out of control. But you got this, okay, Pisces? You do. In the past position, get the Princess of Discs and each cards, please, to tell us more about the Princess of Disc. Success. You had some success or wanting success. With the Princess of Discs, you get the Princess of Cups in reverse there. That could be your energy. You're feeling like you're not getting success or you're really working hard towards it. And maybe it exhausted you because I do see you releasing something that did not go in your favor. But things do go in your favor later. You're going to be putting a halt to something and then you're going to get wish fulfillment, happiness again. So the Nine of Cups in the near future. I need two cards for Pisces. Two cards, please. Ah. Got something that want to come out. Yeah, you let it come out. You gotta let it come out. Ah, Knight of Discs, slow, slowly as it goes. So you're gonna move forward. It's gonna be a little bit slowly, but I call it the near future because we're reading for um, you know, March. Um, you're gonna move on from a situation that did not make you happy, and you're gonna get wish fulfillment because of it. You know, staying where you're at um, is not gonna prosper you. So you are gonna move forward, steady as it goes. You're gonna move forward. You're going to um, put away um, situations that did not make you happy. You're going to put away things that, you know, did not come in positively for you with the three of, three of Wands in reverse. You're making a conscious decision to do so, and it works out pretty good for you because of it. That's one to come out, too. I was looking at the Emperor. So adjustments need to be made out of an uncontrolled situation. A tower event may have occurred, you know. And the universe is telling you to t make adjustments over an uncontrolled situation. Do not go into hermit mode because you may want to think so. You may want to be doing so. Remember, change is coming. So change is coming. There's a reason why you had to put something away. Because change is coming and you have to go forward with your life. You do. Now, the universe does this um, so you move forward. So adjustments need to be made out of uh, under at a control situation that caused the tower event. Please do not become too in, um, within. Don't go too much within because change is coming and things are going to get better. P things are going to get better. Outside influences that caused all this was the Wheel of Fortune. Unlucky situation. Un un um, something that kind of, in a way, messed up your life a little bit. It was unlucky, you know. And it was an outside situation that was coming in that caused all this. So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Pisces. Two cards. Yeah, something that had to do with contracts, something that was stable, something you thought was stable. There's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. Yeah, something, and it could be that you were listening to somebody that you thought was going to help you, but it turned out to be unfortunate, you know. This is what caused this, okay? But realize that the universe puts you, like I said, in a position where you could actually do better. You know, that you will get wish fulfillment. Because where you were staying at um, was not giving you wish fulfillment. So start that new beginning. Take that leap of faith. And not realize not everybody's against you that you may run into just because someone else messed you over in the past. Okay? That, that I got to put out there. Your hopes and fears. You're trying to come out of worry and not having enough with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. In reverse, I need two cards for Pisces. Two cards, please. Yeah, you feel like you're not going to get a new beginning, a new stable beginning, and you're hoping for a victory, and you will get a victory. You'll get that Nine of Cups. That's a good card. But you are going to be still dealing with this Queen of Swords energy. This Queen of Swords energy can be like a Libra. It doesn't have to be. It could be Aquarius. It could be Gemini. Because we're reading for the masses, you know. And, and it could be male or female when you're reading for the masses, okay? You know, the general population. But this person is not happy, and maybe their words cut and something like that. Maybe they're gonna, you're going to run into them because you cut something off, and you're saying, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm putting a halt to this. So I need the Queen of Swords. Two cards, please, of why it's there. Why this is a painting, causing pain in some way for Pisces. Why are they trying to do this to Pisces? Queen of Swords, two cards, please. Yeah, you're going to 
you got it looks like a, a karmic situation. You're putting a halt. There's a chariot again. Putting a halt to a karmic situation that needs to be put, you know, into. So yeah, you're moving on to better things, but you got to cut out the lies and move on from a troubled situation. Make a choice for a new passionate beginning, maybe with a partnership in the future. Something that's going to bring you happiness. Okay, some of you may be dealing with an earth sign you really like. And what caused it pushed all this on you was you just had a little bad luck. But, it, you know, that's why it's there to push you towards something better. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Now I'm going to give you a mini love reading. Let me clean this up because it'll look all jumbled up if I don't. Be right back. Hello, Pisces. It's a little mini red, um, love reading oracle cards. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love. Asking about love from the Angel Answers cards. I need three cards, please, from the Angel Answers. For my love for Pisces. We need to know more information. Sun and Rising. I did see the Lovers card in there, but it could be partnerships, too. You are ready for a new relationship. Some of you are. You are ready to start. There's a peaceful resolution in what you need to um, do to move forward. So if you're having a uh, bad situation with somebody, which I did see in the last, you know, the previous reading just now, um, there is a resolution for it. You will get happiness. I know you're getting wish fulfillment, but you're also ready to start something new. Um, it says um, to wait for the perfect timing on this one. You are ready, but wait for the perfect timing before you approach somebody or someone approaches you. I do see... Um, something coming to a halt first, so let that allow that to happen. But when you're when this person or this situation comes up that's going to bring you happiness, you're ready to accept it. But let that 10 days um, go. There is a peaceful resolution with anybody you had it out with, but it's up to you whether you want that resolution. Some people don't want it, they want to just cut it out. And I did see ending cards, but there is a peaceful resolution to your future if that's what you're wanting. I need three cards from the Psychic Tarot for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mid-March. Suffering in silence. Yeah, don't suffer in silence. You're ready for this new beginning, this new situation, this new happiness that's coming in. So I did see you kind of like, you know, the Hermit card. Remember I said that? Um, don't go within too long, okay? But in, in 10 days, you're going to know what to do anyway. There's balance coming and peaceful resolution in your life. You're going to have balance and temperance. You know, things are going to be feeling more on the even keel. Your intuition, listen to your intuition. Wait on the time it's supposed to move and go forward with what you're wanting in your life because you are ready to take advantage of whatever this um, new beginning is going to be offering you, this happiness. We're going to find out what that is. Harmony and love coming. Harmony and love. It's like a six of cups. So some of you will, you're going to have good memories on somebody. You may be actually dealing with somebody in the past, not necessarily the person you're cutting out. But you may be having fond memories and abundance coming in with the six of cups also. Okay. Let's see what else is coming in. Movement, choices, and decisions. Yep. You are going to make a decision. I did see that two of wands. You know, to go forward with something, something passionate that you're passionate about. So the next 10 days, you're going to put a halt to something. There is a peaceful resolution, whatever you're doing. But you're going to put a halt to it, and you're going to move on to better things. Um, you are going to possibly meet someone in the past that you have feelings for. That um, you're, going to, you're going to trust your intuition on this. But it looks like some of you had suffered a little bit, that you held back. Don't do that too much, because I don't want you to miss out on a situation you are definitely ready for, that you're getting wish fulfillment on, um, that last situation. There's a peaceful resolution coming, so don't worry. If you're worried about something, balance is coming. And like I said, wait that wait that 10 days. Wait that 10 days and then move. Make a move. Um, your intuition will tell you when the right time is. Listen to your intuition. You're not wrong. There is harmony to be had, possibly from someone in the past that you got along well with, that you really did enjoy your time with. And um, movement and choices and decisions, that's when you um, take a step forward. You know, that's when you wait to that hope that has been put in your life and then you move forward with the decisions you need to make to bring happiness in your life which you will do okay this is your reading i'm gonna let this go and i will upload it soon talk to you later okay pisces bye